are you the one for me i'm going to find out more about that on this show today do you have someone in your life no anyway <laughs> before we get into that i don't want you to come and just drop what you're about to draw okay. let's talk about you now like tell us about your music tell us about yourself like if i'm just meeting you for the first time Moby Dave, what would you tell me my name is Mo Believe. Mm -hmm. um, I'm an urban folklore singer, which means I like to make songs about, you know, with the old flavor, with the vintage feel to mm -hmm. it. I mostly sing in Yoruba, mixed with a lot of English. Um, mm -hmm. I'm a breath of fresh air. Um, All right. I like to describe my, my di brr, I like to describe <laughs> myself as the cool in the culture. Wow, the cool in the culture. Um, I think I'm a great guy. Yeah, great guy. All around Nigeria and Yoruba. <laughs> well, I don't want to complete it. Do, should I complete it? I, I think you'd be wrong if you complete it. Oh, really? Yeah. So you know what I'm about to say? No, I don't. But All I'm right. pretty sure you're saying the wrong thing. All right. So tell us, how long have you been doing this kind of music for your, you know, urban folklore kind of music? Um, so my debut EP came out on 2018, mm -hmm. August 22. Mm -hmm. So I think, I like to always think that that's when I you started. You really, really started. You know. But you're like you've been singing. Oh, prior definitely. To that I've been time. singing. I've been releasing songs. But uh, I feel first things first because f I'm, in all honesty, I'm a very forgetful person. So that's the easiest day to remember. Okay. One, two. I feel like putting that out is like putting a product out in the market. There's mm. so much that you can do in the factory, but you don't say you've started producing until mm. when you put the product mm -mm. in the market. Dropping some wisdom right there. Don't, don't leave me. <laughs> don't leave me. <laughs> all right, all right. So, I mean, your kind of music, urban folklore, is not like the very popular kind of music mm -hmm. that, you know, we're all accustomed to, like Afro-pop, hip-hop, rap, and the like. Mm -hmm. How do you intend to, you know, use this your medium, your kind of music, to entertain people or let people know about you okay so when i say it's folklore it's really not the same as you know your babala or it's, Obviously not. it's on a very urban type of beat so it's very mm -hmm. relatable at the big level it's mm -hmm. very the words are very catchy you can always understand if you understand you're about to an extent you'll be able to understand it mm -hmm. and the melodies are pretty nice if i do say so myself i mean okay <laughs> yes yes i get that i mean definitely you would say so yourself <laughs> but but then what about people that don't can can communicate in yoruba or don't understand yoruba how do you expect them to connect to your song so i feel first and first i'm one of the people that believe like music is a universal language every uh, we're dancing to Gangnam style i still don't know what Gangnam style that's was. true <laughs> Just mm. me. um but at the same time i always endeavor to you know when you go to my socials and my youtube i always endeavor to put like translation videos oh, okay. so for people that really want to understand that's, exactly yeah. what i'm saying you can mm -hmm. go there and get them because mm -hmm. i mean there's this other song that we usually that, that, okay for instance i'm yoruba mm -hmm. and i listen to fino a lot mm -hmm. like i don't understand jack of what what you guys sing. sing but like i just feel the vibes and all of mm -hmm. that so i think i understand that but then do you know any other like musician in your genre of music like or is something you probably just coined out about yourself because some people just say oh what kind of music do you do they just tell you oh i'm doing this kind of music and you're like i wasn't aware that you know that genre of well, music yeah. you know existed what so there, there are lots of artists that do folklore but i think to, and I don't want to be to sound braggy or something, mm -hmm. but I feel like I sat down and said, you know, I want to do folklore, but I want to make it urban. Auburn. So mm, Auburn that folklore. Guy. So that's where the name yeah. Auburn folklore came from. How have you been able to you know, promote your your kind of music, especially in this day and age where everybody just wants to listen to pop music and rap and all of that? How have you been able to promote your music and you know let people see the beauty of your kind of song? So I. When I started, I also f I felt like everybody wanted to listen to BPB and all of that. But when I, st I found out that people actually really, really want to listen to content. People want to hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Every not Obviously, when you're in the club, you almost don't want to hear what they're saying. But yeah. when you're driving home, when you're in your kitchen cooking, mm -hmm. when you're doing your laundry, mm -hmm. you just want to hear what the person is saying. And sometimes you need music that speaks to your situation mm -hmm. at when you are. Mm -hmm. So I feel like the music finds the people that really need it. Mm -hmm. um, through different means, you know, yeah. which is one of which we're here. I know, know. right? <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, you, you, you were speaking you, you, from your profile here. Yeah, we see that you grew up listening to the likes of Ebenezer Obey mm -hmm. um, and so many other people in that line. How have their music influenced you, really? Because, I mean, based on what we saw, you said, oh, because of these guys, you know, your music has been able to, you know, give depth and a mm -hmm. level of 
ancient wisdom <laughs> from the times. So how has that been really, how has that really, really influenced you, especially in this, you know, urban and modern day and age? So I've, um, with music from, you know, the olden days, there was one important thing. You had to be saying something. Mm. Didn't matter what language you were saying, it didn't matter what style it should be, it could have been Juju, Fuji, Apala. But you had to be something. Yeah. And I think that is one of like the salient points in my music, which mm. is I'm saying something. It's really not a so apart from this, you know, other guys that you know influence your kind of music, what kind of music do you listen to? Like, you I like, don't believe oh, this is the kind of songs I like. I like I like Burner Boy a lot. I like oh. Malik Berry. I listen to a lot of Adekunle Gold Brimo. Uh, I listen to a lot of Jay Z. Really? Yeah, Jay Z is the OG wisdom. Yes, Are I, you serious? You don't get that, wisdom That's interesting. In that's really interesting. I mean, I to think that you listen to Malik Berry, I feel like. I feel like it's just people like us that listen to Malik Berry. Because I feel like Malik Berry is doing absolutely well. Like, mm -hmm. he does good music. I mean, he just released, you know, a new EP and he is trending and all of that. But I, sometimes I feel like some of these guys are pretty underrated. Like, they're not getting as much accolades or as much recognition as they should get. What would you say regarding that? So, I feel like, to be honest, it's a thing in generally in life. The mm. best soccer player... It's probably not the best two guys that everybody knows. The mm. best, the best um, cook is not probably not the best two guys that everybody mm. knows. But I also feel like it's a product where, in this digital age, we're in, we're in a mall of some sort. Mm. It doesn't we, you don't necessarily have to buy the most, you know, the most popular good. You need to go for what works what, for you. Mm, so mm. I honestly feel, and I also feel like you know, time and season happens to every man. True, true. Because I mean, I was just going to talk about Bonner Boy. Because you mentioned you also mm -hmm. listen to Bonner Boy as well. I mean, Bonner Boy has been releasing good music, music. for a while, but mm -hmm. like his recognition really started last year, twenty eighteen mm -hmm. thereabout, and he's been releasing like music, music back to back. And you know, at some point, he came out to you know complain or just rant and let everybody know, oh, he's not getting as much recognition as he should get. But like you said, time and seasons. Mm -hmm. You know, I I felt like it was just the right, right timing time. and everything just changed. So it wasn't like. He wasn't doing anything or just waiting for the right time. He was actually, you know, doing moving something, forward. moving forward. Exactly. So tell us, Mo Believe, if you could um, do any other kind of music apart from urban folklore, what, what other music would you do? At the very, like, in my very close-up moment, I'm an R&B guy. Like, oh, wait, 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 wait. I need to let the viewers at home know. <laughs> During the break, for me, if you said you're not really like a huge fan of love, and you know, and then while we're talking about the entertainment gist, you were like, eh, you won't post your relationship on social media, blah, blah, blah. But when you start singing R&B, what way or the order? You can't escape it. You think about love. <laughs> well, I think, I think I like the idea of being with somebody. Oh, okay. But I, I don't like the idea of the public display of it. I like R and B in the fact that it's very soft, very sensual and it's and it's music that seems like, you know, I'm talking to somebody right in front of mm. me. It's very communicative, which is exactly why I like I think R and B is, would be my type of music. I have some R and B songs, maybe but not just here to Let's talk about it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so hmm. All right then, all right then. So your song Omoase. Yes. Can you tell us what really inspired that song? I mean, you have Omoase, you have Bioba. Can you like tell us before you tell us about Omoase? Can you tell us song? So I have two EPs. The first mm -hmm. one was Ariwe Ko. I'm going to come to the Big Daddy Mo. <laughs> really then the second one was Big Daddy Mo. Uh -huh. um, off Ariwe Ko, I had songs like Bioba, Poverty, Palm Wine. Mm -hmm. On Ariwe Ko, I was basically just, you know, telling the stories that we forget to remember in Lagos. Mm. On Big Daddy Mo, I was, you know. Being the playful young man that you are. Mm -hmm. You know, I was like, I need to reposition my seat. I was being Big Daddy. Okay, Big yes, Daddy. Big Daddy. So right. I, on Big Daddy, I was playing Chief Oluola mm -hmm. Bakokoyaki. I know it's a mouthful. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm not going to say anything about that name, but yeah, that's. I really love the name actually. But like you, you were saying that that was the name your parents gave you. Like, no, <laughs> just give you some. No, <laughs> we don't do lies here. No, that's why I'm telling you the truth. So, anyways, anyway, so tell us about Omase. So Omase is a record for. Um, it's off Big Daddy Mo, as I said. Mm -hmm. It was what inspired it was I was with 
a girl that you know had plenty shakara. Oh, okay. You know, I knew she was feeling the boy, but <laughs> she was just giving me too much work, and I'm mm -hmm. like, I'm not going to back off. Oh my, say low my face, I need to marry my. But I'm not an old man. We so. don't give up easily in this place. Oh, we press in. <laughs> you get it. We keep going. We you, keep you going forward. It. This um, entire music thing where people just, you know, get into relationship for a short term goals. That I mean, it's like the in thing in the industry now. Like, oh, you be with me, I be with you. And then we just take pictures for the gram and just trend for a while. And after a couple of months or years, we break up and we move on. Like, these guys are really aware of everything from the beginning. Mm -hmm. What's your take on that? I think, to be honest, different strokes for different folks. Do what works for you. If you want to live your life like that, fine. If you don't want to... Okay, so are you are, are you are, are you the baby mama kind of guy or like the wife-wife kind of guy? I don't know because I don't have either. <laughs> you don't what? I don't have either, to be honest. I don't have no, baby mama. No, no, I mean... I feel saying. like some things you have to experience them to know if you are that type of guy. No, there are some guys that are like, I don't want to get married though because I want to focus on my music but I just want to have a child. I, I've really not thought about this thing that you're, about, you're asking me. Okay, let's go away from that. Now mm. I have a couple of games for you to play right here. I just wanted to like, get set. Are let's you ready? It. it is time for game one. Okay. Are you ready? <laughs> no, I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. So these are like some really pretty simple questions that I think mm -hmm. you would get ready. So these are social media abbreviations and I'm going to be giving you social media abbreviations and you're going to be telling us the meaning of this abbreviation. Okay. Are okay. you ready? Yes. Okay. What does um, W-Y-S mean? Why I say? <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know. Do you want me to help you? With what? What? What are you saying it should be W E? I don't know, man. Do you want me to help you? Please do. Oh yeah, you said please. Because <laughs> I was going to make you say please. You were close. It means what you're saying. Oh, I was. I got no, what you say. No, 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 that's not what I said. No, what you saying is different from Ooh, what you said. Okay. Yeah. Thank what you. does um O O T D mean? O O T D. On top. What? On top your matter. <laughs> I don't know. On top your matter today. No. O O T D. I don't today, know. Yeah, today, yeah, today. Not today, but day. The D means day. See, I'm giving you a clue. D okay. means day. Then T T will mean D. Yeah. Something D. of the day. Yeah. Oh, oh wow. Or O A P of the day. No. Uh, oh, oh, uh, order of the day. Um, no, <laughs> order of the day. <laughs> what is what would the O be? She want me to help you. Please go ahead. What'd you say? Please go ahead. Say, <laughs> no, you say please. Wait, I'll get it. Order of the day. No, online of the day. What? Uh, uh Oga of the day, I don't know. What is that? Oga what? Oga of the day or... Just tell me to help you. Okay. Say, please, Tolu Thompson, kindly help me. Please, Tolu Thompson, kindly help me. Thank you. Oh, to the means outfit of the day. Oh! oh I didn't think about that. <laughs> outfit of the day. But anyways, all right. So now, tell us the top three female musicians you would like to work with. That I would like to work with. Mm -hmm. I like Asha a lot. Mm. Uh, I'd also like to work with um, Shay Shay. Okay, you like hot girls, all right? <laughs> I can say and I like I like um, um, Tiwa Savage. Ah, Tiwa Savage. Okay, so tell us um, among those three girls or th three ladies, who would you marry? Who would you date? Who would you slap? Slap. Okay, not slap. Who would you marry? Who would you date? Who would you kiss? Who would I date? I think I'll kiss Tiwa Savage. Why though? She's a mom. She has you, a son. You gave, me, you gave me three options. Yeah, but I'm asking you, why would you kiss Tiwa Savage? I don't you, are you attracted to her? Do you like? I don't. You gave me three options. Okay, so you just say it. Yeah. It's not like you mean it. Say what you mean. I mean what you say. I don't know. <laughs> like, <laughs> now, now that you have, I think I'll, I'll kiss Tiwa. Mm -hmm. I'll, I'll date Asha and marry Shay. I thought you were. I honestly, 
I didn't think that you would say you'd marry Shay Shay. I thought you were gonna like marry Shay Shay. Shay seems like a very fun. She seems like somebody that will make you forget like you're in a marriage. Like oh, that's so sweet. So you're like looking for friendships, someone that's fun to be with. You get. Mm, that's you know, nice. That's nice. Don't all right. necessarily sign a document that says that. Why? Do you guys see? I, I, I really hope your mom is watching this. I really did you guys hear what this young man just said? Should I tell them? I didn't say anything. What did you what? say? What I heard what you said. <laughs> what did you, you said you, you might not necessarily have to sign a contract. Oh, when did I say that? What? Oh wow. Wow. You can read my mind now. Wow. No, that was what you said and I heard you clearly. Oh I said that. That was what you said. You think I said that or I that, said that what what I think that was what you actually said. That's what I said. Yeah, that was what wow. you said. I'm what? <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, all right now, let's get into another game, which is Never Have I Ever. Okay. <laughs> and I have a couple of questions here for you. Don't worry. It'll be fine. And you tell me on, in fact, let's make a pledge. Do like this. I pledge. I pledge. To meet this special. To meet this special. To Lou Thompson. To Lou Thompson. And everyone behind the scene. And everyone behind the scene. To speak the truth. To speak the truth. And the truth only. And the truth only. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. <laughs> you already made a pledge. You already All made right. a pledge. Oh, no, sorry, no, like what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right. So never have I ever got a tattoo. Never. Would you ever get a tattoo? I don't think so. Why? I don't. Like, I don't think I like it. You don't the like it. The fact that I would live with something till the day I die, I don't think I. Like it. The fact that you give us something. Something. Keep no, you have it. Okay, I'm gonna hit you. I'm talking about it. Like, what? Are you saying you were. Mm. All right. Never have I ever ghosted someone's sex. Every time, man. <laughs> you do for a living. I'm the only ghost that, man. Well, why though? Sometimes, you know, some people believe that, oh, the reason why you're ghosting me is because you can't tell me no with your chest or. No, like, some things just don't believe. You know what I'm going to tell you, so why are you asking? No, there's sometimes. Anyways, ghosting is on a different... There, yes. there are levels to this ghosting. Well, okay. Never have you ever dumped someone over text or phone call? I've never dumped anybody before. Oh, you've been dumped. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh, my gosh. This is like... So sorry. Like, no, like you said... You <laughs> All right. So, explain... Okay, explain yourself. You said you've, ne you've never dumped anybody. Yeah, we fizzled out. Oh, you guys just... Stop talking and stuff. Wow. She dumped you anyways. Okay. Never ever ever cried while seeing a TV show. Cried like real tears or just mm -hmm. one tiny mm -hmm. job? Mm -hmm. Which one? One tiny Both. job? Okay. I, 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 Alright. Alright. But before we go, I want to ask you about your brand new EP and your brand new single, um, Fire, and your mm -hmm. EP, Big Daddy Mo. Mm -hmm. So, Comparing your first EP, which was, um, what's it again? Ariweko. Ariweko. And, you know, your new world where you're the sugar daddy, you know, doing, living life, mm -hmm. and having all of the babes around you. I wouldn't say that's a switch, but, mm -hmm. like, can you, like, explain to us what that, you know, was about? So, on Ariweko is the introduction to Movie Live, which is mm -hmm. the guy that you will meet. But on Big Daddy, I'm playing the certain character. Mm. I'm, you know, having fun playing, you know, Chief Olo, Laba, Koko, Yake. Okay. Uh, Mu is like a larger a big, than life, big monstrous man. guy mm -hmm. who likes a lot of young love. Mm -hmm. um, it was just an EP for me to, you know, tell stories in a different way. I wanted to make a love EP, but I didn't want to use the conventional direction of saying, you know, babe, I love you and all of that. Yeah, so okay. I just wanted to play that guy mm. loving. So those Young guys woman. also find it true love as well. Anyways, yeah. so you said you you know telling stories with your EP mm -hmm. through your songs and all of that. Your latest single, which is Fire, mm -hmm. is that like a story behind you know the song Fire? Definitely. So um, I lost my studio in the fire oh. in February or so. Wow. February. Um, and I just you know obviously I'm a musician. I make mm -hmm. songs out of life. And mm -hmm. the funny thing is. Everything I said in the song was what, you know, people told me and, you know, me wow. just sitting and putting everything together and wow. making a song out of it. Wow. So that's, that's like, you know, taking lemons and turning mm -hmm. them to lemonades. I mean, because yeah. taking your real life situation mm -hmm. and, you know, turning it into music mm -hmm. and telling a story, story with it takes a lot. And mm -hmm. it takes someone with actual talents. Because some people will be like, ah, 
since the studio is down, God, what are you saying? <laughs> she really looks for another profession. Because, you know, but mm -hmm. I feel like that's the level of, you know, resilience and determination oh, to definitely. keep going through. Mm -hmm. But anyways, right now, we'll have to go for a quick break. And when we come back, this your brand new song. You will be, you know, performing for it for us live. So you guys, stay tuned. When we come back, Mo Believe will be right here dropping his new song. <laughs> What don't kill you will make you stronger. That's what they say. But what don't kill you will almost kill you. That's what they don't tell you. You could have my shiny filler. I'm a family love, but my mom fat don't want to do me. Don't me. Fire yo. enjoy that beautiful performance by Mo Believe with the song titled Fire. Mm -hmm. Wow, the spelling of the song is F-A-Y-A. -Y -A. Why, why that spelling do it? Because I pronounced, like singing it, I didn't pronounce it like fire. Fire. Like fire. fire. Cause I think <laughs> it's like the way you pronounce it when your house is really on fire. 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 Like, I like the fact that, you know, you, you 
you took a real life situation and turned it into a music. And I like the lyrics of the song where you were like, yeah, the fire might have burnt your studio, but it didn't take out the real thing. Yes, that is the music. music. And I'm like, wow, that is so nice. So torsion. So, <laughs> <laughs> so torsion, very torsion. Okay, but you know, it's time for us to go. But um, before you go, is there anything you would like to say to people out there watching you? What should we expect? What should we expect from you in a couple of years to come? You know, what are you working on? Um, definitely, the song Fire would be out um, very soon. I think next week. Um, I'm working on my debut album, and I shouldn't oh, have said that, but eventually, <laughs> all right. I'm working on my debut album. Just expect, you know, good music, a lot more music videos, and a lot more visualizers. All right. And you know, I'll be performing once. Miss Rona is over. I mean, Miss Rona really has to leave. So can you like tell us your social media handles so we can follow you on social um, media? On Twitter and Instagram is at Mobilive underscore. Okay. On Facebook, Mobilive Music. Mm -hmm. okay. Every other place, Mobilive. Google Mobilive and I'm I'll be there. Right there, <laughs> staring at you in the face like this. Well, anyways, thank you so much for joining us on the show. I hope you had a swell time. Oh, definitely. I had fun. Thank you, Tuli. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm. And on that note, guys, we've come to the very end of today's episode of Media Special. But before we go, always remember that you can follow us on all our social media platforms at iImpact TV and iImpact TV UK. From Tulu Thompson, it's peace, love, and bye-bye. <laughs>